Well, so Hawkins, who lost his way initially, is back in again straight away. When Ronnie O'Sullivan went 5-3 up, he became a heavy favourite. But since then, he's not actually potted a ball. Six. Five and a half and six. Well, that's a real reprieve. This is this one. He hasn't left the game on, but even so, that's a confident sapper. Oh, wow. That was miles away from that one. I did say he could only leave the, the red that he's playing, but, well, he's been lucky there. I wonder whether that rhyme is a funny sound off a boy. You missed it by a long, long way. One day, this game might make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie and Sullivan now starting to just struggle a bit. As I said, like every frame in snooker is completely different. You never get two frames alike, and that's why it's so amazing. Right now, this match is on a knife edge. Mouse playing here. May play this red. It's on this top cushion. You look at the situation here. We. You might be able to play one red off the other and knock the two of them up the table and leave the cue ball somewhere close to the ball cushion. Now can Ronnie knock one red away and not contemplating that just yet. I think if Barry plays this red that's on the top cushion back up into Bork, he can leave the cue ball somewhere near the, the pack of reds. And that would force Ronnie to try and open the reds down here, but he's just going to lay into the back of them here, off the top cushion. It's a little bit short of pace, is it? Oh, oh, oh. Foul, the mess. <laughs> Ronnie on sort of them four. The likelihood is, if he does miss it, he won't. The pack will cover the red. Needs a little bit of luck, but if he does get it, it may be worth it. Oh, yeah. Likelihood was it was the only red that he could leave, and he worked it out nicely. Just nestle into the back of the pack here. So an advantage slightly with Ronnie O'Sullivan here. And these both players have got to be very careful and mindful that they don't pop a red over one of the middle pockets here. Ronnie not entertaining even splitting the pack up. He's going to play a cue ball over that right hand centre pocket. I think two, those two reds are in a line. Mm, yeah. I 
it's quite interesting this isn't it though in a, in a way i mean we all love the big breaks and the centuries and the exciting frames but in some way this is quite intriguing between the two players about who gives way first he's having a look at this one that's just come away from the pack oh look at this what a pot what a pot that is Oh, that's just brilliant. Now, does it go past the pink? He's having a good look at it. If it does, well, he could just drop this black in. There you see it. Wow, there's not much room, is there? Let's have a look. I'll have a better view on this. Yeah, you can see there's a gap. Big shot coming up. If he pots this, it should be on pink or black. Thanks. And he may disturb another red or two from that bunch. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. That's fantastic. What a wonderful shot. And there you see he's brought one more red into play. And when he pots this red, the red just above it will be available. Well, he kept his discipline really well Six. during the tactical exchange. Sensed a chance. He's knocked it in. And he's now in in this frame with a chance to win the match. It had been 32 Seventeen. minutes since he potted a ball. A little bit straight on this black. I'm going to play it with a lot of left hand side. Now the side needs to take, and it hasn't done. 24. It's not as straightforward as it looked a couple of seconds ago. This is missable. Yeah, that was missable. That was a poor shot. Not only on the black, but on the red before that. Seven. Eight. He's just seen O'Sullivan make a few mistakes since he went 5-3 up. He didn't make many to lead 5-3 from 3-0 down, but last couple of frames they have just come along with pressure clearly on both. It is literally a nail biter. Six. Barry's had a quick look at the scoreboard. He's 15 points in the lead. He's going to need one of those reds. 24. He's forced. He's going to try and clear up the loose reds. Those two reds, that's why he's coming out. He's having a quick look. Now he's going to disturb those two reds on, on the ball cushion. And he could leave an angle on the pink to go into those two reds. He'd be taking a chance, but he'd have the open red. Reds didn't come out. 32. He could just play on the loose red. No. Look at the scoreboard. Pink will put on 30 points in the lead here. Yeah, so he's played on the he's played for the cannon. Now, how's this look? Is the green gonna cover the two reds? Well can you believe it? Wow. Well that's very unlucky. Took the more positive shot that to release them because the, there was already a loose red and it still be on the other red and look where the cue ball is finished. Wow. Maybe playing it with an element of safety you would feel. But these are tough. Barry Hawkins, 38. 
so he leads by 30 points, 51 still on the table. Foul. No miss. Does not want the in off, needless to say. Cubal has stayed out. Yeah. Foul. Well, it's not easy. It doesn't no want to go on and off. Oh. Now. He must hit a red this time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. 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 Has to hit one. Otherwise, it's five each. But of course, if he did take it on and knock it in, could be match over. Big moment. Well, he played sort of the same shot again. He made sure. Could have gone wrong though. Ten sold frame, thirty-eight points in it. It's gone close to this pink here. What a shot this is if if it runs. Oh, well, what a great attempt. Another roll of the ball. Let's have a look at this cue ball. Purposely playing about four cushions, trying to get in behind the pink. And another roll of the cue ball, and that was tied in behind the pink, and Barry Hawkins was in a lot of trouble. Does the red pot into the green pocket. Oh, mistake. Big mistake from Barry Hawkins, trying to avoid the yellow. Now, what can Ronnie O'Sullivan do? This is the chance Ronnie's been waiting for. He's been very patient. He's got his chance, but he needs all the balls. Let's see how he's feeling here. There's been a few errors from him last couple of frames. It was perhaps unrealistic to expect an identical performance to last night against Jack Lazowski, but what we have seen is great resolve from Ronnie O'Sullivan, particularly when he went behind early on. He stuck to his task, didn't give up, found a way back into it, started to play better, produced the breaks. Can he produce one more here to win it? Six. They play for the yellow here, or brown. Brown would be ideal Seven. just to get it on its spot. I mean, there's not many better in the game at holding, his, holding the nerve in situations like this. Just checking the scores. Eleven. What colour does he need? He's 27 behind. Any colour will do with the last red. Twelve. The only difficulty you would see is this shot up to the yellow. It doesn't want to go too far. He's yeah. okay. Maybe a little edge, maybe away from there. Seven. Pretty good. So this is a big shot. I say it's a big shot. I mean, straightforward, you would feel, but under this circumstances, big shot. Cued it beautifully. 20. Well, by far, the longest round of the match, 32 minutes. O'Sullivan needs the last four balls to reach his 57th ranking event final. That will equal Stephen Hendry's record. He's had to work hard tonight, and he has done. Two ball has to go a little bit. Oh, just nicely played. Not to right hand side. Thirty five. So just the black to reach the final. 
It's been a real battle this evening. But it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who makes the clearance. It's Ronnie O'Sullivan who gets the win. Barry Hawkins led 3-0. O'Sullivan came back strongly to lead 5-3. Hawkins put him under pressure at the end. Just that one shot, though, let him in. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has made the clearance. He's the first man into the Players' Championship final. He's beaten Barry Hawkins 6-4.